not a drop. Over 750 million adults and kids in third world countries suffer from no access to clean and safe water. Our mission? Change. Water is a necessity to the people that live on this planet. Without water, we are nothing. To emphasize this crucial topic, we interviewed a variety of people at Singapore's Botanic Gardens and asked them questions regarding water scarcity and how they conserve water in their everyday lives. When we need a use, when we need a bath. When we wake up, brushing, brushing the teeth, um, brushing the face, I think, yeah. And then, most of the case, uh, morning I would drink a, a cup of water. To, to have a shower, to wash the dishes, to clean the house, clean the car, pretty much everywhere. Okay, I think how many times? Uh, okay, when I wake up and I go back to the office, I'm having cafe breakfast, lunch time, dinner, uh, I think shower, night time, before comes back, I think. Like drink? For any purpose. <laughs> I'm pretty sure constantly. Yeah. It's not It's not just how many times. It's every time. 24-7. Um, probably... 10, maybe. I think half, maybe half of it. A lot, a lot. That one, that one's a lot. I don't know that I'm bothered. Approximately how much? Go for a deal, man. I would guess that probably about um, one and a half billion. Half? Seven and one. Right, so it's too high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you leave the toilet, make sure the tap isn't leaking. Yeah, you know, that always happens. Shorter shower times, don't take baths, take showers. It's true. Um, making sure that we don't spend too long in the shower. Um, reusing the water if we can. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you. Um, I do, but I can say that my wife doesn't. Oh, and okay. I, I tell her that all the time. Yeah, I, I, I turn on the tape and then the water, use a cup to carry the water and then off it, yeah. Thank you. Please, compare and contrast. A flourishing nation with an abundance of materials, i.e. Singapore, and a nation on the brink of extinction due to its uncontrollable water crisis. Which one would you rather live in? In our attempt to raise water awareness, we consulted many students from SAS's sixth grade and ask them many questions regarding what they are doing currently to raise water awareness. My water project is, I'm making a rain barrel that, um, so it'll, it, it has a strainer kind of thing. So when the rain comes in, the um, barrel will keep out mosquitoes so they won't breed in. It carries a lot of water, but it's like about this big. And then you have a spout that's here, and then I put two wooden poles so then you can stick a bucket under, take the water out. Well, I'm working with Enoch, and so we're, we're going to be working on something called the, the water cone, which is a type of solar still, which uses condensation to make clean water. So you can like put dirty water in a bucket; it'll the condensation will go up to the top of the cap of the container, which is like the cone, and then it'll slide down into two uh, into under containers underneath. And so what we're trying, yeah, and so okay. yeah. My water project is basically we're making a prototype of a filter to produce awareness and we're also making a game to raise money for the South water to help South Sudan with wa their water problems. Uh, my water project is a ball stand and also to make a filter. I'm rock uh, for my water project, we are going to build a fil bio sand filter and we're going to make a stand to raise, raise money and send it to a charitable cause. I am making a Facebook page and I'm making a Facebook page 
for um, <laughs> for my family to see and to share and uh, to erase queerness. And I'm also right now I'm working on a presentation to show to younger grades. I'm disappointed. For my water project, um, I I did a swimathon and I swam a uh, one kilometer. And before I swam that, I had to get sponsors to sponsor me in order to raise money. And uh, my partner, Josh, yeah, um, we did it together. And we also we also are making a video um, and posting on YouTube to raise awareness about the water crisis. That's right. Uh, well, our one project is what we're doing is that we're going to major companies and we're basically giving them our pitch. For example, we've been to Oracle, Google, and uh, Intel. And so far, we've raised three hundred dollars. To achieve my one project, I just want to raise awareness because Singapore doesn't use rain barrels because it might spread dengue because the mosquitoes might lay eggs. So using this, I'll go to a third grade class and then they'll know about it and they can help spread. Uh, I just want to, like, like, if I have a chance, I want to like, share it with my friends. I want to raise awareness in, like, in, in our school for like the elementary school and around my family and in the state. To make dirty water into clean water using our our box of filters. We hope to achieve full awareness about water um, unhealthiness because it's really bad because people are just drinking like muddy water that they just find in ponds, like from the bottom of lakes, and they also have to like walk like five kilometers just to get water but then they do it keep on they keep on doing it over and over again that same day well what we're trying to do is we're trying to raise awareness and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna donate to caring for Cambodia because in Cambodia it's really hot so we can make like a presentation and, and convince them to accept these uh, solar stills Some, yeah, I try to conserve water, so when I wash my hands, I don't leave the water running too much. Like, I wash, put the water on, then I wash my hands, and then turn it on again. And when I take a shower, I don't leave the water on the whole time. I turn it off sometimes when I'm not using it. And when I drink water, I usually drink all of it. Um, I do conserve water by trying to take, um, uh, when I uh, take a shower, I try to take, um, the least amount of time possible. Uh, when I brush my teeth, I try to leave the tap off. And um, no matter what, if water is running somehow, I'll turn it off. I don't know. Um, we can save some water for like well, I have a little garden type thing where it, it works with a uh, sort of like condensation. It takes the water, like you put, I put, um, I, I grow plants and I put them in little glass jars at first. And I put the tops on and I water them once every month because the water, it goes up and then it can't escape. So it just waters itself. Uh, I think I do conserve water because um, I usually take short showers and uh, when I brush my teeth, I don't have like the water running. So yeah. Okay, I, I yeah I've conserved water ever since the water project started. So I realized that um, people don't have water and how graceful we are. Uh, so we started conserving water like immediately after. Yeah, we always. Well, my family always just tries to conserve as much water as they can because we, because since the water project launched, me and my family have been trying to save as much water as we can to help South Sudan. I do conserve water, so what what, I, what my family does is when we do chores and stuff like that, you know, when you do cleaning, what you do is you, 
often you will have like a giant bucket, uh, like you use a hose or something. What I do is I just have a bucket of water and, and instead of using a hose and just spraying it randomly, with my bucket of water, what I can do is I can just take a scoop out and then pouring it onto wherever I need to clean. So it kind of like conserves water. March is World Water Month. March 22nd is World Water Day. Spend this day thanking for all of the clean and safe water that you can access at your fingertips. You walk 10 steps. Kids and women in other countries walk 10 miles. Water is crucial. Be the human who helps out those less fortunate in a third world country. Invent a revolutionary contraption that will provide more water for those in need of it. Be a change. A drop is all they need.